here in, in Congress, and I've made it a priority of mine to raise the profile of ports uh, in Congress and the importance for our nation's economy, which obviously includes exports. Um, and everyone knows that our trade policies affect all businesses, whether they directly export a project, import a component or a part, or sell foreign merchandise. And all these goods ne need to get to and from our ports of entry in a timely and efficient manner. It was recently reported that goods imported through the Port of L.A. took 48 hours to travel to Chicago and an additional 30 hours to get across Chicago. Uh, and it is safe to assume that exports will also be facing transportation bottlenecks. Uh, last week, I sent a letter to the transportation conferees highlighting the critical need for our country to have a national freight policy, to have a national plan on how to best move imports and exports throughout our country. Uh, so specifically with this goal to double our exports uh, in a few years, could you um, discuss if you think it is important for us to have um, a national policy on moving goods uh, throughout this country, investing in our infrastructure, grade separations, whatever. Uh, I'm worried that uh, you know businesses are poised to um, to benefit from um, exports, uh, but w we may get bogged down in uh, our infrastructure in this country, so that that will um, slow things down. Well, thank you for that question. Uh, we are very supportive of efforts to make sure that the United States has modern infrastructure, whether we are talking about ports or airports or uh, highways or, or railroads. As you know, President Obama is very dedicated to doing everything uh, that the administration possibly can uh, to create uh, and build an economy that will last uh, for well into the foreseeable future. So I think the point that you are making is a very important one and uh, an effort that we are very supportive of from the trade perspective. You know, with, with just a few minutes left, you know, one of the things that I hear from my small businesses as well is, you know, there are particularly women-owned, minority-owned businesses, they would love to get involved in the international trade industry. They would love to get uh, somehow involved in exporting their goods. There is a big disconnect uh, between small businesses and this incredible opportunity. What uh, are you doing? What can we do a better job of in terms of educating our small businesses um, in how they can access capital and how they can get the experience and how they can get the training to actually be involved? I have businesses that can literally see the Port of Los Angeles, uh, but yet have no idea on how they might benefit uh, from this uh, huge growth opportunity in exports. Well, at USTR, working with SBA and Commerce Department and others, we are very focused on doing everything possible to publicize our export opportunities, to ensure that small business have the finance tools and the other tools they need to access these opportunities. I, I think um, one step that they can hopefully take if they are interested in exporting is to contact the local SBDC, the Small Business Development Centers. We have about 2,000 throughout, uh, actually we have about 1,000 throughout this country and nearly 2,000 in the hemisphere, and we are looking to expand more. Because these SBDCs, and I know the ranking member has uh, at least one in her district, uh, they are great tools to be able to sit down one-on-one uh, -on -one and consult with our entrepreneurs and, and company, uh, companies that are smaller to find out what is their product. Are they interested in a market where we have a free mm -hmm. trade agreement? If so, the public online tariff tool that I mentioned is a great way. We can help them look up their product code. They can right away see what is the tariff treatment uh, with respect to Colombia, which entered into force just this week, as we noted. Um, we hope uh, Panama will be in force uh, within the next few months. Korea entered into force on March 15th, and we have 17 other agreements where we have either zero tariffs or relatively low tariffs. So I think contacting the first instance, the SBDC, that is local could be a very important step to get them started. We are ready to help as well and, and ready to work with you on other ideas. But publicizing, I think, what we are already doing uh, as much as possible and the tools we have, while at the same time within the government we are looking at ways to be more efficient and make sure to, as much as possible we have one-stop shopping. 
whether it's our Business USA initiative or going to export.gov or using the tariff tool. We're going to try uh, as much as we can to continue to make this easier for people because we know at first it can seem, uh, it can seem quite complex. So we'd like to work with you to, to simplify things. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Schilling. Thank you, Chairman and Ranking Member. <clears throat> um, and, and thank you, Ambassador, for being here today. We appreciate your time. My home